All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how to get all of your different ad accounts connected and synced up with your HubSpot account. Okay, this is going to allow you guys to obviously get ROI reporting. It's going to start the process of attribution reporting, which if you're really a little bit more advanced and you want to figure out UTMs, campaign groupings, revenue attribution, and a whole bunch of other stuff, there's going to be a video somewhere around here just go to my page and type in utm or attribution reporting and that's the video for you in this video we're going to be covering just how to get everything set up and how to send data back to either facebook or google or linkedin to obviously optimize your ads and then what you can do with all this data directly inside of hubspot so this is going to be a simple step-by-step -step breakdown with that being said my name is aaron platt i own salesmomentum.io we are one of the fastest growing hubspot partner companies in the united states and people make a lot of bad moves when they get into HubSpot that take away from the results that they could be getting. And I don't want you to be one of them. With that being said, I'll see you in the video. Alrighty, guys. So this is going to be your actual ads feature inside of HubSpot. You can get there just by going over the marketing tab and clicking on ads. Okay. Now there's a few main features that we're going to be using inside of here. Obviously we need to get everything connected so that we can see, you know, our cost per click, cost per contact or new lead cost per acquisition. Our ROI looks like we've spent 130K to make just under 600,000. We wanna be able to set all this stuff up. What this is gonna do is it's one, gonna fill all of the HubSpot standard properties, drill down metrics, and which campaign converted this contact or this deal, which ad set is the one that actually converted the lead or the contact, who's clicking on what ads, all these different pieces are gonna to start to automatically happen once we get this connected and set up, okay? I'm gonna jump into, actually we're in the demo portal, but let me jump back into our demo portal. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go under the ads marketing tab and you're gonna go click right here. Now you're gonna wanna connect all of your active ads accounts, right? So I'm gonna just do Facebook obviously because that's the one that most people are obviously going to be using, right? So you're gonna go in and you're going to sign in your Facebook ad account and just basically follow the steps. It's gonna be very simple for you to do this. Once you are done, it is going to populate just like you are seeing here, okay? So all of your actual ad accounts are gonna to start to populate directly inside of here. Now, if you're using, for example, like Facebook lead forms, something that's gonna make it really easy for you guys, if you go under settings and you go to the left side here, and you just click on ads just like this and we're in a demo account so now this is just old data but if you go into lead syncing you need to make sure that your lead syncing is set up okay this is where all of your actual lead forms are going to be connected to and it's going to allow you to obviously sync if you're using facebook lead forms and if you don't know what that is that's just the form that you can actually use to run ads to where people don't have to leave the platform to obviously give you their data okay so if you're using facebook lead forms you're going to want to set up this lead syncing tool right here and then you have all of your pixels directly under here and all of your ROI reporting, which you can start to set up directly inside of here. Now, going back into the ads manager, now that we have our ads manager connected, right? There's a few different pieces that you're gonna want to look into. The first one is gonna be events. So for example, something very easy for you to do would be based on your life cycle stage, right? Or a form submission. If you don't have life cycle stage set up very well and it's messy, I have another video you can go check on that on how to actually get this set up. But if you're gonna want proper attribution reporting and you're gonna want all the metrics and the reporting that you're ultimately gonna want once you have all of this stuff set up, I'm not talking about ads managers, but UTMs, campaign, and all of those different pieces, you need to make sure life cycle stage is set up properly. So after this video, go find that video on my page. It's going to help you do going back into it. If you don't have life cycle stage set up, you can use forms, right? So if you have an onboarding form for every single client that comes in or whatever the case may be, you can use forms as well. So when we're creating these events, a few really easy ones would obviously be, we want the Facebook ad account, this right life cycle stage. Let's say, for example, let's say subscriber is a brand new lead. Lead means that it's been delegated to a sales rep. Marketing qualified means that so we've qualified the individual right? Sales qualified lead means that they have booked a closing call, right? Opportunity means that they have been completed a closing call and they're qualified. And then we have customer, which is a one-time purchase and evangelist, which is they purchased more than, for example, one of our services or products or whatever the case may be. You're obviously going to want to send back all of your customer data, those that are actually closing directly to Facebook, right? So you're going to want to select customer or evangelist, right? Set this stuff up and go ahead and create these events, okay? Now, what this is gonna do is inside of your Facebook ad account, you're gonna be able to see these custom events and you're gonna be able to optimize towards these events, okay? Which it's gonna basically sync and every single time it happens, it's gonna start to obviously pull all these events inside of here. Now, additionally, and I set this up just before we got on here just so you guys can see this, 
is whenever you go into, for example, lists, right? So if we create, for example, everybody that has opted in, booked a call and closed within the last, or let's say under 30 days. So everybody that comes in, opts in, books a call and closes within under 30 days. That's a really good list because it means we're finding the right people that have the pain point. They're coming in, they're problem aware, they know that you can help or whatever the case may be and they're buying quickly. We can create a list inside of HubSpot that has all of those people based on those filters. And then we can set up audiences, right? So this is HubSpot master customer and evangelist for this example inside of our audiences. Now, it's quite simple. You're just gonna click on audience. We're gonna do contact list. We're gonna select the list that we want. We're gonna connect it to whatever ad account we want. We're gonna name it and we're gonna create that audience. Now, the cool thing about this is once you've created that audience, we can also select and create lookalike audiences. So for example, if I wanted to create lookalike audience of customers and evangelists, 1% in the US only, I can come in here and hit create audience lookalike it's gonna ask what audience I wanna do. So I wanna use this one and I can select the locations and then the percentage that I want to target as a lookalike, which obviously now you have a new targeting audience directly inside of your Facebook account, okay? And then you've got analyze and a few other pieces, but that's where I'm gonna to stop today. First things first, connect your ad accounts. Second step, make sure you have your proper events set up. Start with opt-ins, then do applications or qualified applications, then do your discos, your closing calls, your customers, and always optimize for obviously the, the booked calls or the customers or anything along those lines. And if you're a marketer, you're gonna know what to do with that. But with that being said, it's the same for Google, it's the same for LinkedIn, it's the same setup. You can come in here and you can filter for whatever you want. And this is gonna allow you to, again, tie everything back to campaigns, specific funnels, UTMs, and a whole bunch more. And whenever somebody does actually opt in or come into your account, you are going to be able to see if I click into this as an example, where they came from, which network, which, uh, for example, audience they came through, uh, which campaign they came through, which Facebook ad they actually clicked on, all that data is gonna automatically start to populate so you can start making good decisions and you can start building out reporting. So with that being said, I hope this helps. Very simple, if you want the more advanced, how do I actually track sources? How do I group everything so I can get really good reporting? How do I do revenue attribution and deal attribution and all that stuff? find the video on my page or we'll put it somewhere right here. It's a longer video and it goes into the weeds on how you can actually set all of that stuff up. So with that being said, hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next video.